Lichen. Lichen is an association of algae and fungi. The term lichen was introduced by Theophrastus for the plant outgrowth. Theophrastus first used the word lichen for extra plant growth on the tree barks and father of lichenology is Eric Acarius and in India the most of the work on lichens has been done by Professor D. D. Avasti. You must have observed if you go to some hill, a hilly station, you must have seen on the rocks different colored patches or on the bark of the tree. These are nothing but lichens and you can see here these different colored patches are the lichens. Important characteristics. Lichen is a composite thalloid structure made up of an alga and fungi. The algal component of the lichen is called as phycobiont and the fungal component is called as mycobiont. The algal component is usually a member of cyanophyce that is blue-green algae or chlorophyce that is green algae and the fungal component is usually a member of Ascomycetes and rarely you will find the fungal partner is a Basidiomycetes. For your information, we don't get Basidiolichens in India and example of Basidiolichens is Cora and Corella. This is Cora pavonia, a Basidiolichen. The fungus derives nutrition from the alga while the alga is protected from desiccation by the fungus. So you can say it's a type of symbiosis or mutualism. But the recent studies have shown that fungi parasitizes the algae and such a relationship is called as helotis or you can say master and slave relationship. Lichens are generally grouped into three morphological categories. Crustos, they occur as crust over rocks like example is graphis or on the tree bark example is rhizocarpon. You can see rhizocarpon. Folios, these are leaf like lobed structure attached to the substratum by means of rhizines. Rhizines are equivalent to rhizoids like organs example is parmelia and peltigera. Fruticos. They are shrub-like, cylindrical, erect lichens attached to the substratum by their basal ends. Example is Cladonia and Asnia. This is example of Folios, Parmelia and this is example of Fruticos that is Cladonia. Asexual reproduction including the vegetative reproduction takes place by fragmentation, Soridia, Isidia and Cephalodia. Sexual reproduction is a fungal type and as you know in most of the lichens the fungal partner is a member of Ascomycetes so of course it is going to be of Ascomycetes type. The female reproductive organ is Ascogonium and the male reproductive organ is Spermatogonium. Here you know that algal partner is not taking any part in the sexual reproduction. The fruiting bodies are either apothecia or perithecia containing SI and each ascus develops eight ascospores. You can see this is cup shaped fruiting body called as apothecium and this is the flower shaped fruiting body is called as perithecium. Economic importance of lichens as a food or fodder. Cladonia rangiferina is commonly called as reindeer moss found in Tundra region and it is used as food or fodder for reindeer, musk, ox, etc. This is Cladonia rangiferina. Parmelia used as food in South India. Umbilicaria is used as a food in Japan. Avernia is used for making bread in Egypt and Lichenora is used as a delicacy 
in his life. Cetraria Icelandica is commonly called as Iceland moss and it is eaten in Iceland. This is Parmelia and this is Cetraria Icelandica. Lichen is a source of dye. Litmus, acid base indicator, is obtained from Rosella montagini. Or chill dye, which is blue, is obtained from Citraria, Rosella, and Ligonora. Lichens as a source of medicine. Medicinal property of the lichens is due to a substance called lichenin. This is Rosella, source of litmus. Asnic acid, an important broad spectrum antibiotic, is obtained from Asnia and Cladonia. Peltigera canina is used against hydrophobia. You know, hydrophobia is a viral disease and that is called rabies. Asnia, source of antibiotic, asnic acid. Xanthoria parietina is used against jaundice. Loberia pulmonaria is used against lung infection. This is Xanthoria parietina, which is used in jaundice. And this is Loberia pulmonaria, which is used in lung diseases. Lichens as a source of cosmetics and perfumes. Some lichens having aromatic odor like Avernia and Remelina are used for manufacturing soaps. Some sweet scented thalai are used for making Haman Sami Grey, Dhub, Agarbatti, etc. This is Avernia. Ecological importance. Crustose lichens are the pioneers in the zero seer. That is the succession beginning on a bare rock. The first to appear on a bare rock is the crustose lichen. And this is followed by polios, then triticos, then moss, then herbicide, then shrub, and finally the trees. So that is how the succession on a bare rock starts. And it ends with the tree that is the climax. Lichens as pollution indicators, particularly of SO2. Lichens are very sensitive to air pollution, especially SO2 pollution, so they serve as indicator of air pollution. Poisonous lichens, Cetraria juniperina and Litharia vulpina, wolf, called wolf moss, are used as poisons. This is Cetraria juniperina, 